Hey y'all, so I'm super excited. I just got in my waxing kit from Sincerity. This will be my first time using a waxing kit. Um, as you can see, I just unboxed it. It was packaged pretty well. We had some cushioning in there for it. I did already take the plastic off of the the um, waxing pot just because doing this with one hand, but it, w it did come very well packaged. So this is your waxing kit. This is your wax warmer. It's cute, black and pink by Sincerity. Um, comes with a basic three prong plug and you've got your lid, you've got your um, the little pot with the handle so easy to take out. I like that it's got the handle on there. Inside your box you've got four bags of waxing beads right here. So four nice size bags of the waxing beads. You also have two packs of the applicator sticks. So these are for when you're putting the wax on. You've got your um, your pre waxing treatment and your after waxing treatment. So your pre wax it shows your ingredients, it shows the instructions and your after wax treatment. So Basically, you're going to put your beads in your warmer. You're going to spray this onto the area that's to be waxed and then remove excess product with either cotton or wool or a dry tissue. So a, just a basic tissue will work. Um, it also has tea tree oil in it. Tea tree oil is always great. It's designed to clean deodorant, makeup, and body oils from the skin prior to waxing. This light antiseptic cleaning treatment spray is the ideal start to waxing treatment. So this just helps get your skin fully clean before waxing. Then after you're done waxing, you've got the after wax. It has, um, has been completed. Apply the lotion liberally, generally gently massaging into treated area for smoothing and relaxing effects. So this just helps smooth your skin after waxing. Um, this one is a blend of oils and moisturizing agents. It provides the perfect conclusion to a professional waxing treatment. It is formulated to cool and moisturize the skin. After wax treatment contains lavender oil, which provides the added benefit of antiseptic qualities, which will further reduce the chance of inflammation that can occur after waxing. And uh, last but not least, you have your, your gloves, your just basic gloves for applying. So I'm going to get this set up, we're going to get this plugged up, and then we'll be right back to show you guys everything. So exciting! Also included is your wax warmer instructions, which I forgot to mention. And it has all of your step-by-step -step instructions. It has certain questions like, does it hurt? Is your hair too long? How often should I wax? Um, so I'll go over those and read you some off of the important questions as well for any questions that you may have. And always unplug the appliance when you're finished using it. So this is just some warnings and um, just some information you might need to know. And this is the instructions we're going to go by. Also getting this ready, so I've got my warmer plugged up. One thing I noticed is these bags of wax beads. I love that they are resealable. So if you have a small area you want to wax or, you know, you just don't want to do like your whole leg or something right away, you can pour whatever amount that you would like to use and then reseal them. So not only does it come with four bags, but you can also reseal them so you don't have to use the entire bag for one if you do not need it. So as the instructions say... Um, you're going to pour the desired amount of wax into the wax warmer and then you're going to turn the temperature control knob and set the dial on 195 to 240 and wait for the wax to liquefy. It usually takes about 25 to 30 minutes depending on how much wax. So for faster heating you want to place the lid on the warmer and adjust the temperature to the highest which is 240 degrees. Stir occasionally checking the consistency of the beans so you want to stir it throughout heating. Then you want to test once the wax is melted, lower the setting to 160 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. With automatic power off function, the temperature will remain con constant throughout the day. It is important to test a small portion of the wax on your wrist to make sure it is not too hot before applying. 
So we're going to do that right now. We're going to pour the wax into the pot and hit the temperature and um, get this going. So for, and just, you know, to show you guys how this works, I'm not going to use the entire bag. I'm going to use a small amount. Um, we're just going to cover the bottom of the pot for now. And we'll use that and we'll save the rest of the bag. I love the way the beads look. So soft. Okay, so got the wax beads in. Put your lid on. And we're going to turn the temperature up. To 195. So as you can see, it's at on. You have a little circle right here. It's on 195. You could even go up to 240, which is the highest. So let's just go halfway up, and we're gonna let that simmer. All right, while that's heating up, I'm going to read you guys a few of the questions that are included in here, which I think is great for people who are first-time users like me, because there's lots of questions. <laughs> so, does waxing hurt? Extracting your hair from the root may definitely cause some discomfort. I mean, that's a given. I expect it to hurt. I mean, we all know waxing is not comfortable. But when it comes to your hair removal options, Femira Waxing Kit is the premier choice in terms of performance and quality. They have tested other formulas and they're confident that when used appropriately, their wax is superior in terms of minimizing pain. Oh, that's great. How long should the hair growth be? They advise waiting until your hair is at least one quarter inch of length. If your hair is too short, there won't be enough length for the wax to grip. So you wanna make sure you let the hair grow out and don't like shave it off if you plan to wax. Now, and if your hair is too long, um, it, it can be a little bit tricky, it says. Your hair shouldn't be any longer than a half an inch either. You can just trim it down before waxing if you prefer. Um, how often should you wax? Hair growth is different for everyone, so this answer depends on the unique rate of your hair growth. Generally, most people find results last about three to six weeks. Can you use it on your face? Ooh, good question. Yes, you can. Our wax is perfect for sensitive skin and fine facial hair. Can... I use it for Brazilian or bikini wax, which a lot of people do prefer. Absolutely, it says. While our wax is gentle enough to use on delicate skin, it is also powerful for eradicating coarse hair. This makes it the perfect solution for bikini area. Oh, that's great. Are there any concerns um, that you should be aware of? Avoid applying wax to the moles, warts, mucus tissue, or sunburned or irritated skin. Do not use wax if you're taking Retin-A or Accutane, so that's like um, dermatologist like creams or acne creams or skin creams. So Retin-A or Accutane, they do not recommend. Um, probably because those can already be making your skin sensitive, so this would probably not make it very comfortable. Do not wax after plastic surgery or chemical peel until approved by a physician. Avoid sun and hot water for eight hours after use. So definitely make sure you don't shower or, you know, plan to be in hot water or the sun right after. How do you clean the pot? That's a great question. To clean your pot, first use up any remaining wax. While the wax machine is powered off but still warm, use cotton, cotton strips, cotton muslin strips, or paper towels to wipe it clean. Paper towels would be my preferred choice. You can also use a small amount of oil to wipe it clean. That's interesting. Do I need cloth strips? No. Nope. No cloth strips are needed with hard wax. Is it painless? Hard wax is often called painless waxing. Pain tolerances vary, but many users rave about their comfort level with our flexible wax. That's what I was worried about. I was afraid it would hurt. Certain areas are more sensitive than others, and because you're pulling hair out by the root, slight and quick discomfort is normal. With continued waxing, you will experience less pain each time. Plus, your hair will grow back slower and finer. Win-win. Is that normal if the wax warmer auto turns on and off? So, this Femira Wax Kit has automatic power off function. When the wax warmer is in a hot temperature, indicator light will turn down automatically and turn on when the temperature is too low. So, it regulates itself to say the correct temperature. That's good because you don't want it to get overly hot. So that's all your questions and I'm sure if you have any other questions concerning this, um, it'll be great to go to the um, company website. So since sincerity at outlook.com 
and I will also include links in the descriptions um, of this video and that way if you would like to order your own you can do so so we're gonna let this finish warming up let's see yep I can see it starting to melt so let's let's let this warm up we'll stir a few times while it melts and then I will show you guys how it works hopefully mine is painless like it says just a little update you can see that it's melting I've stirred it a little bit and you guys it smells really really good um, I did not know that it would have a good fragrance and it smells really good I'm so excited I'm also nervous all right let's let it finish all right we're almost there y'all and I don't know if you can see but we're gonna use my leg hairs for this because I've been letting them grow out specifically to do this um so I don't know if you can tell but they're for sure at least a quarter length a quarter of a length long you can see a few of them so once this is ready I'm going to spray the pre-treat on and we're gonna get it going all right I think we have it ready it looks ready sorry it spins because I can't hold it with my other hand while I'm holding the camera okay so wax looks ready to me I'm going to set this to the side, and so we're just going to do a small area for now. So, I think we'll do the one, the area on my leg with the most hair, which is going to be right here on the front. So I'm just going to spray the pre-treater a few times. And we're going to let that sit for a moment, and then... We're going to remove this to wipe the excess oil so that it... Okay. Then I'm going to test the temperature of this on my hand before I put it on my leg because I did turn it up a little bit for faster melting. So I'm going to turn that back down and I'm going to test the temperature and then we'll show you guys. Okay, so not, not too hot. I tested the little portion of my wrist just like that. And it's not that bad, so we're going to get started. I'm just going to take a small amount on the stick and start on that little portion of my leg and just do a small portion for now. Alright, so it says to apply an, about an inch wide and about six inches long in small sections in the way that your hair grows. So we're going to go like this and make sure you can leave the sides thicker. It sets in about 30 seconds, so you kind of have to move quickly and get it all on there really well. So about an inch wide will go a little bit longer. And then you basically don't need any paper or anything. You're just going to pull it up. Um, you kind of nick it up at the ends and you pull upward quickly in the opposite direction of hair growth. I don't know if I'm putting too much or too little. Hopefully this is okay. So, there we go. And let's let that sit for a moment. We got a few extra little scraggler strings that are easily to come off. And so this is how it looks. Remember, in the direction that your hair grows. So I'm just gonna wait a few seconds. And then, let's see, maybe I didn't put it thick enough at the end. So then you're going to kind of flick up the end. I didn't get it in like a same thickness throughout the whole thing. Um, so you're going to see how it kind of rolls up right there. So grab it and give it a few more seconds just to make sure it's got the hairs, but you don't want to wait too, too long. Okay. Ready? Let's see. Oh, that's not bad at all. And look. Okay, so gross that I have to post this, but... It worked, you guys. I can see. I don't have...
have like lots and lots of hair on my legs. Oh, I hope you guys can see this. It's not focusing totally. Oh, there we go. There we go. Focus, focus. So the hairs on my legs are a little sporadic anyways. Um, but it definitely worked. Hopefully you guys can see, but the hairs are there and it did not hurt. It really, I mean, there was a little pull, but it didn't hurt and it feels so smooth. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely worked. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to get the rest of that off. We're going to put the after treatment on there and I'll be done. But y'all, it worked for sure. Check it out. Go to the link at the bottom and it was not that painful at all. I was surprised. I was nervous about it hurting, but it was not that painful. So it's super easy to do. It really did not take that long for the wax to melt. I'm going to use the rest of this and I love it. I will continue to use this. So y'all check out the descriptions again. This is the Sincerity Wax Warmer. My first time used and I love it.